Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Michaela. I am so excited. I filmed a video the other day and it was terrible. It was basically a lot of me like studying, editing, working on things, things that didn't require me to talk to the camera and it was a bunch of time lapses, which would have been boring for you guys. So I wanted to make a more entertaining video. I'm giving you guys a book shelf tour. Hopefully you guys like book videos because I love my book videos. Usually they don't do that well on my channel. My battery's about to die, I'll be back. Okay, we're gonna get started now. I'm so excited, I love books. I don't know how many of you guys are interested in the top, but if you guys wanna see that, I'm gonna show you guys at the end. So right here, I have The Land of Stories. This is such a good series. In elementary, in like the beginning of middle school, Chris Colfer was my favorite author ever. So now they just like send them out to me and I have them out because he was literally my favorite person ever. I have the first five here and then the last book, A Tale of Magic, which is like a prequel, but it came out after. And then it's called The Ultimate Book Cougar's Guide. It's basically, a a book for Chris Colfer fan. The Book Thief, this was so good. Wonder, All the Bright Places. I'm not gonna tell you guys everything that I have and haven't read just because we will be here literally all day. They both died at the end. This was the book that made me so much more obsessed with reading. I've always really liked reading, but this is what really got me into making reading one of my main priorities. This is The Fault in Our Stars, which I have yet to read, but my best friend Delilah said it's so good, so I definitely need to get to it. Everything, Everything, The Way I Used to Be, Moon Magic. I have this book here because I don't know where else to put it. So notes from Beautiful Girl. A Walk to Remember and The Alchemist. A lot of these books I have not read. Out of all of these, I've only read like four. This is pretty much my young adult shelf. This is mainly my new adult romance, also like kind of the book talk books. We have my two Penelope Douglas books, Punk 57, Bully, and I haven't read it. I have a ton of series I need to get to, that's why I haven't started it. Punk 57 is the only book of Penelope's I've read, but I loved it. Then we have my two Emily Henry books. We have Beach Read, which I have yet to read, and then People We Meet on Vacation. I did read, and I also annotated it. Mostly not one of my favorite books, which is why I haven't read Beach Read, but I definitely do want to get to it. The Love Hypothesis. I'm going to show you guys my annotation because I love the way I annotate this. If so many people don't like it. Let me zoom you guys in more. These are the two books I have in the Calloway Sister series. I need to get more and that's pretty much why I haven't read the second one because I want to like collect them all that way I can just binge them. This is Addicted to You and then Ricochet. The deal was so good. A Million Kisses in Your Lifetime has honestly scared me because of how thick it is. Magnolia Parks. This is the first one. The cover is gorgeous. I really do want to. These Seven Husbands. I actually just finished this. It was really good. I love Taylor. And then Malibu Rising, one of my favorite books ever. I love this book so much. I'm currently reading It Starts With Us, which is why it isn't on my shelf, but it's so good so far. I actually don't know why these are switched, but the first book is Summer I Turn Pretty, and then It's Not Summer Without You. I haven't read the second one because I really want to get the third one before, and it bothers me that I don't have it, so I'm going to wait until I do get it. And then these are the three, All the Boys I Loved Before. I do not know why these are switched. I think I may have had these laying down. Layla by Colleen Hoover, I Hopeless by Colleen Hoover, Reminders of Him by Colleen Hoover, also have not read, November 9th, Ugly Love, Verity and it ends with us all four of these I have read they are so good by the way for both of these I read the first of each series and then behind I have the four after books I don't have the last book which is before and I'm pretty sure that's in Hardin's point of view for the longest time I did not like this section and it took me a while to actually like it just something about it was throwing me off I found this at a garage sale I think it is so pretty it is chipped at the top but I don't really mind I think it goes really well with the shelf so these are the three picture books of the Harry Potter series and they're very big so they're more for decoration than actually reading when i read these three books i listened to the audiobook because they are too much of a hassle to carry around with you this is *Pride and prejudice and then i think listen to barnes and noble edition of alice in wonderland i do not know why i bought this i bought it a long time ago when i was like 10 i think okay my braids are so messed up but i'm gonna record the rest for you guys with my hand instead of using the ring light because i just enjoy that more and it's a lot easier for the bottom shelf so both of these shelves right here are pretty much like my fantasy this is a whole selection series which i did finish along with the caravel trilogy and then we have a court of thorns and roses there are so many series that i want to start but so many that i haven't even finished so i can't yet but this is supposed to be like a retelling of beauty and the beast so and then we have my whole twilight series along with midnight sun i have these two hardcovers of paula hawkins the girl in the train and into the water i'm not a big fan of hardcovers but i do want to read them eventually because i am a big fan of thrillers between want to go private and 13 reasons why i loved all of these books they're so good especially this one this is so underrated this is Between by Jessica Warman. Room. This is also a movie on Netflix. Mr. Tender's Girl I also read. Very out of my comfort zone. I'm not a big like horror book girl. I did not expect it to be that scary. Like I will say it's not even that scary. It just is for me. And then these two last books I have not read. This is A Good Girl's Guide to Murder and then We Were Liars. 
I've heard so many good things about both of these. This one I've heard more bad reviews on, but this one I hear so many good reviews about. If you haven't noticed, right in the middle of my bookshelf, bottom row, I have these two bins. These have all my vinyl records, and then this one right here has all my journals. This bookshelf is from Target. I bought it somewhere else that sold it cheaper. Okay, so I have one more bookshelf, but it doesn't have books on it. Up there, I just have some of the Billie Eilish boxes that came with stuff I bought. This is an Amazon Billie Eilish box a book, The No Time to Die, Wheels, some of her dolls. That's her book that came with something I bought. That's a magazine, the other doll, another Amazon box, a perfume, the CD, and then another doll. That is it for my bookshelf tour. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you say to the end, then comment the disco ball emoji. I love you guys so much. Take care of yourself, drink water, bye.